Thank you for your time. I will begin the discussion with you, Ms. Ruasha, as you have worked yourself with Masarat Zara. So could you shed a little bit of light? What are those charges she has been booked under? Uh, well, I have not personally worked with Masrat in Kashmir, and uh, but I know uh, that she has she has done some very good work and honest coverage of Kashmir issue uh, from the last four years. I know her personally, and uh, right now, as we speak, she is in the uh, cyber police station, and she is she's devastated. Uh, and I'm, I'm we have full. Uh, so we are in full solidarity with her entire uh, scribe community and uh, general Kashmiris. So the Unlawful Activities Prevention Act that you asked me about is a very unconstitutional act, even according to the Constitution of India, the Democracy Standards of India. It is an unconstitutional act because, A, it allows the state to uh, cast a net of offenses that are otherwise legitimate and are not unlawful. And the use of word terrorism that the act, uh, you know, it, it allows the state to already assume the accused is guilty and hence they can, you know, imprison the person for as long as six months without any charges being proven against uh, him or her. So this law is uh, problematic from the core and even the Indian uh, uh, liberal and, uh, you know, the Indian academia has um, uh, spoken against the law and have demanded repeatedly that the law should go. A and B, uh, you know, even uh, before the trial begins, the law allows you to uh, intimidate the person or the accused and before the case is opened in the courts and a fair trial is not allowed. So you can easily call that, the state easily calls that person as a terrorist. And uh, it's a very dangerous law and Masrat Zaira per se has done nothing except uh, being a professional of very high standards and uh, performing her professional duties. 